maybe this is a hot take, but Backroom's level run for your life is actually good now. Yes, I, I said that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, turn your ears up and listen, because I'm going to be diving into what's happening. You see, the original Backrooms level run for your life was like the Backrooms version of Temple Run. But now the level has been rewritten to a more refined and mature level. You know, it's no longer, ah, scary entities running after me in a red hallway with loud music and obstacles. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the changes, why it's so much better, walking you through the level, and I'm going to be comparing it to the previous version of the, the level. And overall, just explaining why this is a good change to the lore. So without further ado, sit back and relax, and let's get into it, shall we? So the Backrooms has had some problems in the recent past of being too kid-friendly. You know, take the entire party-goer entity craze, or the snack rooms, or something like that. You know, yes, those pieces of lore are very nostalgic, and they'll always hold a place in the history of the fanbase and the backrooms, but in reality, it's not really good or intriguing lore, if you really think about it. The same thing can be said for level exclamation mark. You know, the level of red halls and entities and loud music and sirens and everything. Yes, it's a classic level, and yes, it's nostalgic, but from a lore and continuity standpoint, it's kind of weird and kind of out of place. I'm just being honest. It was, And like I said earlier, it was pretty much Temple Run in real life. Y not good, you know? It's completely okay for Backrooms levels to have a lot of entities or have a weird environment that's all crazy and defies the laws of physics. You know, that's what the Backrooms is. It's supposed to be that way. But if it's gonna happen, it needs to be in more of a subtle and not so on the nose way. And I, along with a ton of you, we loved the first level, Run For Your Life. You know, we, we, we loved it for its nostalgia and how creepy it was when we first started. But I definitely thought it needed an update or a fix. And since it was kidified a little too much, we've gotten that fix right here. So right now, I'm gonna be going over the level that has replaced level exclamation mark. It's known as the long forgotten exclamation. Let me know your thoughts below. I really enjoy this one and let me just get into it. So the way the level is written is it's a dialogue between two friends or wanderers in the back rooms. And I'll be reading the dialogue so you can get the full experience. After I've read it and discussed the level, I'll be going over some changes from the old and the new and why I think the new one is better. Let's go. All right, explain to me again why we're in 14. Okay, okay, so remember that horror legend on the forums? That stupid one about the hallway? Yeah, we were laughing about it last week, why? So, and this is gonna sound crazy. Oh God, I think I found it here. What? Be serious, dude. I am though. You think something probably put together by a nine-year-old is real? I mean, I thought it was fake. Just look, come find this door with me, fine. But if this proves to be wrong, I'm leaving you here. It's just a door. Yeah, but can't you see that faded mark on it? Anyone could have put that there. Looks real scratched up and faded to me, like someone's tried to remove it. Or it's a prank. It's not a prank, man. Bring up the page on it again. Ah, fine. Hang on. One of the most common ways to enter this hallway can be found via walking through a door with the symbol of an exclamation painted on it. Well then, come on, we can make history here. A legend found to be true. Or we would end up being dead before word gets out. Please, we'll just take a look inside and be done, okay? Fine, one look, that's it. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, this seems dead quiet for no reason. Yeah, let me check something on the page. The first room one will walk into will be entirely encased in a reflective metal and lit by a dim red glow. That's what it says, but where are the lights? Where's everything for that matter? I hate to say it, but there's only one way to check it. Oh, so now you want to go inside the creepy hallway. I don't, but this is all just too odd for my liking. This place is really dusty, man. Like the kind of dust you find in really old buildings. Eesh, one step inside was all it took. <clears throat> yeah, pass me my water, please. How did it get like this? What do you mean? I don't know, but it's like this place was just completely forgotten, I guess. That doesn't sound right, though. I isn't it a legend? Storytelling only keeps things alive for so long. Eventually, someone warps it to the point where no one knows what the original tale is. All right, Socrates. I am being serious here. Jokes aside, that actually does hold some interesting merit. It does? Honestly, God, I thought I was kind of spewing out nonsense for a moment. No, I actually like it. It puts some more of a mind about it, you know? Well, don't hold back for my sake. Well, it's, it's just, I just, 
You were just trying to make me feel better, huh? No, give me a second. I, I got something. Just need a moment to put it together to form a coherent sentence. Okay, so first thought in my mind is just, is this our fault? Well, it wouldn't be ours, but I know that. I mean, like, people living in the back rooms were usually the ones to pass around tales of levels we see. How many times has the story of this place been told? Who's forgotten bits? Who's warped it? We've slowly just desecrated this place without even realizing. But yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad you put the theory into words, huh? Oh, this isn't the hallway. Oh, isn't this the room where entities would start gathering? Hold on a second, let me check the wiki. In the starting room are two doors. One is locked upon entering, but entities can be heard gathering behind it, attempting to break free. Well, thank God there's nothing there now, or <laughs> we'd have all been dead. Sure would have been. Jeez, look at the state of it, though. Ugh, it smells like something died in here. Don't even know what kind of entity has the bones I'm starting to spot. Think one of these is a smiler? There's no way any of these are. They're just floating faces, right? Dunno. Heard that they have a amorphous body or something. Okay, can we leave this door now? That smell is gonna make me vomit. Yeah, good idea. So, this is it. The door to the hallway. Think it's really 10 kilometers like it says? <laughs> uh, no. I don't care how athletic someone is, no one could survive that, and I highly doubt that anyone even guesstimated something like that while running for their life. Fair. Well, you ready? I guess so. I mean, considering that all we've seen so far, that is gonna be anything specky, but nervous anyways. Mm-hmm. I do get it, though. Who knows what's there? Maybe that's the one bit that got preserved out of all this. I mean, it is the main feature of this place. Exactly. Hey, it's okay though, you know, we're here together. I'm here with you. If we walk in there, take a few steps in, and we find hell is still there, then we're together in our end. Well, let's open the door then, whenever you're ready. Jesus Christ. I, I mean, this, this place looks completely ruined. Yeah, you could say that again. I had no words, honestly. There's even more bones than in the other room. Oh God. Wait, what's wrong? Dude, look at the walls. Oh, yikes. Yeah, these have been, these have sure been scratched up. What's up? These look desperate. Ravenous. The food source must have stopped at some point. Jesus, man, they turned to the walls for sustenance? The walls, the floors, anything laying around? Their fellow entities, maybe? You really think they would resort to that? Whether that was their first solution or last, they turned to it at some point for sure. Look, even some of the bones look torn into. Makes you feel sorry for them, huh? Yeah. Well, we got a ways to walk, shall we? We're seriously doing this trek. Like, seriously. <laughs> well, we're in here now. We might as well. All right, then, let's see what else we can find. Hey, I just thought of something. You know that one level that's apparently just a garbage dump of lost levels? Think that this place dropped out of that? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I kind of feel like this place would be far more broken than it currently is if that was actually the case. Yeah, you get a fair point there. By the way, take a step to your left in a few seconds. Wait, why? Whoa. See? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, thanks a lot. That looks like a far drop. All right, hold on. I'll help you move through the next uh, bit of pitfalls I'm spotting. Thanks. This is by far the most empty the hallway's been so far. Yeah, I was noticing the debris was clearing up. It's an interesting marker. Four, how far the entities got in their destruction, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Resources must have started to get scarce in the hallway's starting point. Some must have fled further down to try to scavenge. Wouldn't have been the best idea though, right? I mean, just how many people made it this far. I doubt the resources were plentiful about this point, but you're forgetting the potential of things clipping into this area though. Again, how often would that have actually happened theoretically though? Point taken. That does beg the question, though, and do you think any of the entities managed to make it out? Leave at the end of the hallway, right? Yeah, the exit doesn't just exist for wanderers, you know, surely an entity could walk through it as well. If they were smart enough to comprehend that it was an exit, I would assume those that could did leave. God, could you imagine the state of things if the entire horde got out, though? I would say we'd be done for, but would they all end up in random places, or would them all barge out at once, leave them all on the same level? On top of that, check out this bit. If a group should enter this level, they will be separated into solo instances of the hallway, with no two people ending up in the same area as another. Wait, dude, I think I can see a light. We actually got to the end? <laughs> I guess so, man. I know it wasn't that long of a walk, but it really does feel like we spent hours in here. Well, while this wasn't the experience I was expecting to have, I'm glad I had it. I'm glad you convinced me to step inside, despite this place being what it's become. Still thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah, you're right. Hey, on that note, I got something to add to your theory. Once more, I'm all ears, man. You talked about things getting retold in different ways from its original intention when we first got here, right? You know, warping it into something new and disconnected from the true thing, whatever it was. Yeah, I did, what about it? Do you think it could be sometimes for the best? Go on. 
I mean, picture it from a storyteller's perspective. You want to tell a story, people ask you for a specific one, but you think it's boring. So you rework it, weave it something anew, give it a new sense of life. I think I see where you're going with this. It could be beneficial to the whole level. It's like a phoenix, you know, when they die out, they're reborn anew, maybe even better than they were before. Same could be said for this place. That forum post could very well be real out there, and we just haven't found it yet. So what do you think lies beyond the exit here? I think in its current state, it wouldn't be able to send someone to a random level, right? Who knows? I'm not thinking too hard on it. Besides, whatever happens, happens. We'll face it. Together? Yeah, together. All right, so current real Brugly back after narrating that entire thing. As you can see, the level is somewhat different from what you might remember it as. You know, it's not an entity horror chasing you. In fact, the entire hallway is full of bones and flesh and decayed bodies of the entities and wanderers who were stuck here at one point. Meaning that that old page of level exclamation mark that we used to have was so outdated that it's been abandoned in recent years. The level has crumbled and collapsed and just ran out of food and ran out of wanderers and entities. And now it's just an empty, lonely hallway. But this goes back to what I said at the beginning of the video, where I think a rewrite like this is so good because it still does a good job of calling back to the original article without completely, you know, wiping it to the side, but also making it something new and more horrifying and more liminal like the original Backrooms was. You know, I'm not even one of those people who hates wacky entities or levels. You know, I actually love that stuff. I think it gives the Backrooms its charm, but I really enjoyed this level's dive into the horror of liminality. And I'm really glad that this level and the snack rooms have done the same thing. It makes it just so much scarier. You know, the previous versions of this level, they're still out there on the internet. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're also in our minds and in my own videos, actually, they're, they're still up. But as the fandom grows, as it expands, Things like this are bound to change, and for the better, like this level. It almost feels like a grown-up version of level exclamation mark. And if you really love the old version of any levels, there's no need to be butthurt or angry about it or angry at the fandom, because those levels, they still exist on my channel, on the websites, everything like that. And at the end of the day, the backrooms is what you want it to be. It's, it's never been a set group of lore, it's your own liminal hellscape. But yeah, that was a long forgotten exclamation, the real level run for your life. All right, rant's over. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so much.